Greetings, my fellow Fright Fiends. It's your buddy Boogeyman Ben here for a new episode of Boogeyman Ben's Horror Zone. And today's video is going to be a horror movie review. Um, this is a movie that was sent to me by my friend Phil from Phil's Creepy Vids. Um, this is going back a couple months where he sent me a package and he had a couple of collectibles in there for me. And he also sent over this movie um, called Session 9. Um, and this was a movie I'd never seen before. I'd never even heard of it before. And uh, he really was anxious for me to watch this film. So I was really curious of, you know, what it was all about and who was starring in it. So, so Session 9. So uh, just to give you a little bit of uh, facts about the cast, you have David Caruso as Phil. You have Peter Mullen as Gordon Fleming. You have Brendan Sexton III as Jeff. Um, you have Stephen Givedon. Um, as Mike and Josh Lucas as Hank. The movie was written by Stephen Gavidon and Brad Anderson, who also directed the film. Um, pretty much what the plot deals with is you have this asbestos work crew, um, and they're working, they have a week to get this job done in this abandoned hospital, um, this abandoned mental hospital that has like so many dark secrets of things that had gone on there, which include torture, um, possession, things like that. And what you find out over the course of the film is that there's different layers to this hospital, just like there's different layers to each of the main characters. And uh, it was a very interesting film to watch and one that really was intriguing. I really uh, was fascinated by all of the performances in this. I've always been a fan of Josh Lucas. Um, I think he's kind of underrated. A lot of people call him a poor man's Matthew McConaughey, but I've always enjoyed him in films. I really liked him in this film, just like I've liked him in other films that I've seen him in. I've never been a big fan of David Caruso, but I actually really liked him in this film as Phil. I, I, I really thought he brought a very human, down-to-earth performance. Uh, the performance that really fascinated me, though, in this film was the Gordon Fleming uh, performance played by, played by Peter Mullen. I really liked him in this film. And you really see early on just, like, what's going on in his life, and you see that there's all of this sort of turmoil with his marriage and things like that. Um, and uh, as the proceedings go on, you just, like I said, you see these different sides to these guys that you sort of get a feel for when the film starts. And then as the proceedings go on, it was very unpredictable and I really liked it. I also thought it was very eerie. I love the setting of the abandoned mental hospital. Anything in an abandoned mental hospital is very creepy. Anything where there's people that have been, you know, that are insane or if there's been like any type of torture or anything like that. Um, really disturbing, um, so it really got under my skin, and it was very unpredictable, and it was a really surprising film, and I'm surprised that I have never heard of this film before. Um, I really enjoyed it. Um, like I said, it's very scary. I don't want to give too many spoilers away, because I want people to experience this film just like I did. Um, so, yeah, I definitely recommend it. Um, there really wasn't a weak element in it. I really just enjoyed all of the different characters. I love the setting. There was some really good scares in it, things that got under your skin, things that were unpredictable, and the ending I didn't see coming. Um, so yeah, I would give this film uh, a very fair uh, four skulls. So yeah, that is my review of Session 9. Uh, Phil, thanks so much for sending this to me. Um, I'll put a link down below to Phil's channel. Phil is awesome. Uh, definitely subscribe to him. He does a lot of great unboxings. He has an amazing horror collection, and he's just an all-around great guy. Um, so thank you so much, Phil, for sending me this film. I actually really enjoyed it, and uh, glad that I have it in my collection. I will be revisiting it again because there's some things I kind of want to re-watch it knowing what I know, um, having watched the whole thing now and understanding like where this is going to go. Um, and I'm kind of curious to retrace it and go back and watch it again. I really enjoyed the film. And if anybody else has seen uh, this film, please leave your thoughts in the comments section below. And as always, thanks so much for watching Boogeyman Men's Horror Zone, and I'll talk to you guys later. Take it easy. Stay scared as always. Peace.